This is Twit. So this is an in an interesting pair of charts. Uh, this is a uh, the two charts that show the rate of IP address block movement and IP addresses, individual IP addresses over the last couple of years. And so, and, and it's, they're both basically exponential curves going up crazy. For example, in November of last year, toward the end of last year, in that one month, uh, or is that a week? November, oh yeah, that looks like, no, that's probably one. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, it's one month because there's 12 bars per year. Um, uh, so somewhere like November 2014, nearly 2 million IP addresses transferred. Now that means that, that there were IP addresses that were being routed down some channel, some <laughs> a tube, one of those internet tubes um, going in some direction and something happened to cause one or more typically large blocks of those IP addresses to go now be routed somewhere else, meaning that someone gave them up and somebody else got them. So they're being transferred. It turns out that there's an actual sort of a, there's like an aftermarket now that is developing for IPv4 space. Even though IPv6 exists and it's got enough IP addresses that we could all have our own internet worth several times over. I mean, when, when I talked to my provider about getting some IPv6, they said, uh, so what, what do you want? Uh, you want 64,000 IPs? It's like, <laughs> what? It's just me here. They're free. Oh, yeah. They're plentiful. Yeah, yeah, we got not to. Yeah. So um, what's happening is these are there is now a resale market. And so, for example, it turns out that for whatever reason of, of, of fluke of history, Romania has had a surplus of IPv4 space. <laughs> and Jump.ro has been selling it off like crazy. In fact, 51% of all the IPv4 blocks transferred last year came from a single from that one Romanian organization, jump.ro. They will sell large blocks of IPv4 space for $10 per address or lease smaller blocks for 50 cents per address per year. And to give you some sense for this, uh, of like where they're going, Saudi Telecom purchased 1.5 million IP addresses in 17 block transfers, 14 of those from Romania, three from Ukraine. So if we sort of back of the envelopes, say $10 each, they paid $15 million dollars. Saudi Telecom did last year for 1.5 million IPv4 addresses. So it's not surprising. Um, as we know, change is hard. Uh, there's a huge install base. Well, I mean, all the equipment on the internet knows IPv4. IPv6 is still, still, you know, moving forward, but at a glacial pace. And it's just easier for people who need more existing IP space to find people who have it and buy it from them. So that's happening. It's a, it's, it's a strange world. The fact that you're, you know, it's like virtual, it's like a virtual currency. It's like, you got any IPv4? You know, what can you part with? If you're not using it, we'll pay you for it. And of course, one, <laughs> and one thing that this does is it, tends to, to cause routers problems because what we really want, you know, the, 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 the original fabulous architecture was that IP space, the IP um, protocol, the, uh, the addressing was hierarchical. That's why, for example, HP was started with 14, meaning HP was everything 14. Um, and so wherever, so HP could 
Basically, if, if an IP address began with 14, all the router had to do was send it to HP. Didn't even have to look at the other three bytes. Just, oh, 14, HP. And many of the early networks were like that. GE has a, has a class A network, as those are called. And many major organizations, many universities are still today squ squatting on, maybe they're waiting for the price to go up. <laughs> Once it hits $100 P for IP, it's like, ah, we can lower tuition and sell off some of our bulk IPv4 space. <laughs> um, so the problem, though, is as the IPv4 space becomes more fragmented, that is, for example, while Romania had a huge block, all of that, you know, like one, one table entry in the router could match a huge number of IP addresses with, you know, underneath their, their, um, their network number and, and just send everything to there. But now with Romania selling these off to different parties, what was one entry in the all of the routers, all of the big iron routers that do this on the internet, what was one entry now might be a hundred entries. Because if they've sold these, you know, pieces of one big block, scattered them all over the place, now we need individual address matches on the routers in order to send them off into to different destinations. So this is causing concern among the, the engineers who worry about the internet's plumbing that because due, you know, due to this kind of fragmentation, there is a routing cost that the original engineers just brilliantly uh, sort of considered and came up with an economical uh, solution to in the beginning.